Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 3n plus 15 over 4n squared equals 1 over n squared minus n minus 3 over 4n squared. Well, I see that they don't have the same base, these two fractions, n, the 1 over n squared and n minus 3 over 4n squared. So I need to make them so they have the same base so that I can combine them, I can subtract them. Well, all I need to do is really have a 4n squared down here. So if I multiply this by 4 over 4, which is essentially 1, that will give me a 4n squared in the base. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I have 3n plus 15 on the left over 4n squared is equal to, now multiplying that 4 over 4n squared minus n minus 3 over 4n squared. Great, now I can combine these two, and in combining the two, I have the same base, so I have 3n plus 15 over 4n squared here equals 4 minus n, distribute the minus sign, plus 3 over 4n squared. Now, to get the 4n squared out of the denominator, I multiply both sides by 4n squared, over 1 really, right? 4n squared over 1. That eliminates the 4n squared on the right and the left, actually, giving me 3n plus 15 on the left equals and then 4 plus 3 is 7, so 7 minus n on the right. Let's bring our n's together, so I add an n to both sides. And I subtract the 15 to both sides. That leaves me with 4n on the left, uh, and a right a negative 8. So when I divide by 4 to both sides, I'm left with my final answer, which is n equals negative 8 divided by 4, which is negative 2. Okay? So now I need to check that. Check that. So we have 3n plus 15 over 4n squared is equal to 1 over n squared minus n minus 3 over 4n squared. We're going to plug negative 2 in for our n squared. So uh, for our n, sorry. So we have 3 times negative 2 plus 15 over 4 times negative 2 squared is equal to 1 over negative 2 squared minus negative 2 minus 3 over 4 times negative 2 squared. A lot to do here. 4 times negative 2, or negative 2 squared, comes out to be a po uh, negative, positive 4, uh, times 4, which is 16, so we have 16 in the denominator here, and negative uh, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and negative 6 plus 15 is a positive 9, so we have 9 sixteenths right there, is equal to, <clears throat> well here, 1 over uh, a positive 4, minus a up there, negative 2 minus 3 is in, or time, uh, yeah, minus 3 means a negative 5, so negative 5 right there, over uh, this down here is 16, right? Negative 2 squared is positive 4, 4 times 4 is 16. Well, 1 fourth, I can rewrite that, rewrite 1 fourth to become, right, I want to have the same base 16, 4 over 16. So we have 4 over 16 here, and then minus the negative plus a positive, 5 over 16, and we have 9 over 16 right there. 4 plus 5 is 9. So we have 9 over 16, we can combine the bases because they're the same, 9 over 16, fantastic. Left and right hand side are equal, great, which then confirms our final answer here, which is n equals a negative 2. So let's recap, we're given our grand equation here, and what, what the key part here is the these weren't the same base. So I had to rewrite this to be 4 over 4 n squared, so it had the same base so that I can combine them together, subtract it. And in doing so, I had 4 minus n plus 3, it's distributed that minus sign, and I multiplied both sides by 4 n squared. I eliminated the 4n squared on both sides, giving me 3n plus 5 on the left, equals then 4 plus 3 being 7, 7 minus n on the right. I then added an n to both sides, subtracted 15 on both sides, giving me 4n equals negative 8, divided by 4 to both sides, and it gave me my final answer here of n equals negative 2. So now I needed to check that. To check that, I would give my original equation right here, and I plug it back in, right? I plug negative 2 back into my original equation. So in doing so, when I simplify, 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 and you know, make sure I have the same base when I have my fractions, I got 9 over 16 on the left equals 9 over 16 on the right. Left and right were equal. Great. We don't have an extraneous solution here. We just have our true solution, which is our final answer, which is n equals a negative 2.